It begins here for me on this road. How the obsession happened, I don't know. But I know it couldn't happen again in a million years. Maybe I could have stopped it early. But once it had its hooks in me, I was just going with it. Mostly, I remember the jacket. I, I can't explain it, a coat like that. But something changed in me. It got to me. But that's later anyway. This is where it begins for me. Right on this road. If you ask most people to picture a motorcycle jacket or just a leather jacket in general, I think it's safe to say that most people would picture this, the Shot Perfecto motorcycle jacket. Introduced in 1928 and selling for $5.50 at Harley-Davidson stores, the Shot Perfecto was claimed by Shot New York City to be the very first jacket to feature a zipper. And that zipper is one of its distinctive features, asymmetrical to help keep out the wind and rain when riding. Originally made out of tough horse hide, the Perfecto evolved throughout the 30s and 40s until it eventually reached its pretty much modern form in the late 1940s with the 613 One Star. In the 50s, the 618 was introduced, lacking the star on the epaulette, and the Perfecto remained pretty much a niche item, worn only by motorcycle riders for the most part, until it was featured very, very prominently in the 1953 film, The Wild One, starring Marlon Brando. Do you want something? Yeah. I'd like a bottle of beer. The beer's just in the bar. Oh, all righty. Or was it? Internet sleuths are pretty convinced that the jacket actually featured on screen was a Perfecto knockoff made by the now defunct company Durable. But it doesn't really matter. It looked like a Perfecto, it was patterned after a Perfecto, and the infamy that the jacket received was directed towards the shot perfecto. Brando's character Johnny was the original rebel. Hey Johnny, what are you rebelling against? What do you got? The film and the jacket caused such a stir that both were banned in some areas, but the rebellious mystique around the perfecto endured. It doesn't get much more rebellious than punk music in the 70s, and the Ramones were almost never seen without their perfectos. The Clash, Bruce Springsteen, The Terminator himself. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> and countless other musicians, actors, artists have worn the Perfecto or Perfecto-style jackets over the years, and that counterculture image has endured, in spite of the fact that it is also worn by plenty of middle-aged dudes like myself. There are lots of Perfecto-style jackets offered by Shot on their website. The 618 and the 613 are the most traditional, made out of a heavy steer hide, 
They're more geared for the motorcycle rider, very short in the torso, maybe more tight fitting than some of the fashion forward jackets that SHOT offers. The 118 is similar to the 618, but it's a little longer in the torso and it's sized a little larger. SHOT usually recommends that you go up a size when you're ordering the 618 or the 613, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. They have more fashion forward jackets like the 626 VN that's made out of a cowhide as opposed to the steer hide. So it's a little softer, doesn't require the same kind of break in that the 618 and the 613 do because these jackets are very stiff right off the bat. They also offer the 613 Slim and the 613 Slim Horse Hide or the SH. The Slim isn't really any slimmer but apparently the sleeves are a little bit longer and it's a little bit longer in the torso and it doesn't feature the underarm footballs as they call them or the gussets behind the arms. The normal 613 does have the gussets here. Prices range from 870 for the normal 618 and 613 all the way up to over $1,200 for some of the more vintage styled fashion forward jackets. I went for the 613 because I thought it was the most traditional. And the fit is an interesting thing here. I am a size 40. And if you go by the fit guide on Shot's website, put in your height. Age. Uh, I'm going to say that I'm 30 because if I say that I'm actually my age of 44, they will want me to have a fatter jacket. So I'm going to say 30. I'm going to say my weight my chest, fit preference. If you say standard, they'll tell you to get a size 42. Now, I got a size 40 and it actually fits me really well other than the arms being slightly short because I'm tall, there's not much I can do about that. But if you actually wanna go for slim or very slim, they'll tell you to get your true size. So depending on your weight, your build, you may have to go up a size. If you are like me and you want it to fit fairly slim and you have kind of an athletic thin frame, then you might want to go for just your normal size. But if you buy a variation like the 118, they would recommend that you actually size down if you want to have a slim fit. I was able to grab my Shop Perfecto 613 One Star off of Canadian eBay. It was hardly used and it was a really good price and the exchange rate helped a lot as well. Otherwise, I don't know if I'd be able to justify the cost. They're $870 new for the 613. Pretty spendy, but I was able to get a pretty good deal. So as I mentioned, this is a size 40. I went ahead and got my normal size in the 613, even though SHOT recommends you size up, but I wanted it to fit fairly slim. If you can see when I zip it up, it fits pretty close. The sleeves are slightly too short on me. But that's something that I kind of just have to live with. I'm six foot two and a size 40 chest, so often sleeves are not going to be long enough. I'm kind of wondering if the 613S, the supposed slim version, which isn't really slim, but it supposedly has slightly longer sleeves and a slightly longer torso, that might have fit me a little bit better. But this is what I was able to find used on eBay, so this is what I was able to grab. This was very rigid and very stiff when I first purchased it. Um, it had hardly been broken in at all. There were almost no wrinkles or creases on the sleeves. And it just sort of, I wouldn't even say hung on me, it just sort of sat on my frame. Wouldn't really move, wouldn't really bend very much. This is a very thick steer hide. So I've been wearing this for several weeks now, trying to wear it whenever I can to get it out, get it into the weather a little bit. I've worn it in rain a couple times which supposedly helps with the break-in as long as you don't get it completely soaked. But for me, I think the 40 is just about right. If you were someone who was a little bit shorter than me and you had a 40 chest and you wanted it to fit slim, I would go with the 40. Like I said, this version is made with the steer hide. They do offer it in a horse hide as well, which is kind of shinier, maybe slightly thinner, maybe a little more rigid as well. It has a quilted nylon lining like so, which makes it fairly warm. I wouldn't say you could definitely use this as a winter coat, but if you had a light sweater on underneath, maybe depending on how cold it gets in your area. It has an asymmetrical zipper. As I mentioned, it has a waist belt so you can cinch it up. Features zippers on the sleeve so you can tighten those up if you're actually riding. 
It has gussets under the arms to help with range of movement. The slim version does not have these gussets, but this one does. One piece leather back, as you can see. Various pockets. We have the two slant side pockets with zippers here. We have a little ticket pocket or change pocket, I guess, here with the snap. And then we have another slanted pocket here. All of these are zippered. All of these have little chain poles. The main zipper has a little leather thong on the end as a pole. It is short. I wouldn't say it's too short. This is how I think it should wear um, just above the belt or just around the belt line. Um, if you have your pants pulled up a normal amount. Like I said, I think the slim might be a little longer and some of the other more kind of modern updated cuts that they offer this jacket in are maybe a little bit longer in the torso. So if you're wearing a long t-shirt, it's going to stick out beyond the waistband of the jacket. I was fine with getting the traditional fit. That's what I wanted. I just kind of wish the arms were a little longer, but they're not too bad on me. I think it looks great just with jeans and a t-shirt. That's how I typically wear it. Um, I don't know if I would wear a collared shirt under this. It's not a formal jacket by any means. It's a very casual jacket, um, but it works. If you want to zip it all the way up, you can pop the collar if you're a little cold or if there's wind. Here's how it looks zipped all the way up. The sleeves zipped, the jacket zipped all the way up to the collar, the waist belt cinched. You can see how that fits. It's pretty tight fitting on me. I do have pretty good range of movement for the most part. I can't really lift my arms up all that high. But again, this is still breaking in. It's still not completely as loose and supple as I think it will be eventually. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with the fit. I don't think I would want a different size. Like I said, I'm a 40 chest and this is a 40 in the 613. I have been completely happy with the Shot Perfecto 613 motorcycle jacket. I think the quality is there. The materials are really good. It's well put together. I think the look is absolutely fantastic. It is timeless. It is iconic. And this will never go out of fashion because it is not fashionable. It's stylish, timelessly stylish. And it's hard to think of almost any other piece of clothing that fits the definition of timeless style better than the Shot Perfecto motorcycle jacket. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.